Hello everyone, how are we all doing? Welcome back, chat, to some Medieval Dynasty. Feels like forever since we played this game. They've added a lot of new things as of today. So we're going to take a look at what's new in today's Big O update. Fresh, new, hot and tasty. It's going to be awesome. Good to see everybody in chat. Thanks as always for all your Big O crazy support. You guys are awesome. Welcome, chat. Good to see you all here. The things that are new, it seems like there's new furniture to make. 
for our people. We now have street lights, there's events, and they've added a lot of new items to craft, including backpacks and other things to make it easier to uh, transport things long distances. Today's a busy day, too. I also got access to Teardown, which is an incredible little destruction game with a lot of fun in it. It seems a lot like uh, my summer car in its kookiness but also has an unparalleled destruction system. So I can't wait to go play that, too. So thanks for smashing like. You guys are always incredibly supportive. So thanks, as always, getting those likes up. 100% like ratio. That's awesome. You guys are always liking stuff, right? I hope so. All right, well, we get into the game here in just a minute, so that'll be pretty fun. And uh, I think we'll have to put Billy Defense on then. Let's go ahead and uh, jump in here to some Medieval Dynasty. Again, if you guys want to see more... Continue to smash that like button. That's why we're here, again, because of all your previous support. So let's get into some Medieval Dynasty for the fresh new update. I guess they just call it the Events Update. So that's pretty uh, eventful. Yes, thank, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Wow, you guys are the best. <laughs> thank you. You're excited to see the new update? Well, I'm excited to play it. So she's starting up now. Here we go. ba 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 All right, and any second now. Come on, baby. There she goes. I think this game's uh, startup time has gotten slightly better, too, which is good news for all of us. I've certainly missed the music in this game, too. All right. And Medieval Dynasty, here we come. Bum, bum. Ah... Let's see if it pops up on screen. I can hear the music. Hmm. It'll be popping on the screen here. Give me one moment. Ah, that doesn't want to do this. That's okay. Let's continue and see what we do. All right, time to load in. Welcome again to all the new subs. Thanks for all the unstoppable support. The Big O Super Chats. Welcome to new members. We have giveaways and such based on uh, all that stuff. Oh, I forgot to reset our members goal, too, by the way, for today. But that's all right. If you'd like to become a member, you guys know what to do. We'll play this for a little bit here today, and then I got to go and get more recordings done for later today, too. Should be a good time. Lots of stuff. Well, of course, you know, it's that time of year where games are coming out left and right. New stuff all the time. Ah, welcome back. Wow, it feels weird to be back in this game. Whew. Okay, let's make our way towards the storage barn and see what we got for new items. I've forgotten everything about this game. Any new skills? Uh, some things are still being worked on, it looks like. Okay, let's see. Well, we need a bunch of logs, I think. New subscriber shout-out. C8, thanks for subbing. Do we have wine now? Oh, this is all about events and stuff, so we're going to see what's new here in just a moment. I just need to remember Hi, exactly. Chad, Billy Nelson here, and you're lucky I'm here. I know, we have a Billy. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, let's see. Well, we're going to need a lot of logs if we're going to build some stuff, but I don't know exactly where to go to build some of these things, so we'll have to kind of check it out and see what we got. So let's see. Probably is under decorations or something like that. Sandwich Entertainment, thank you very much for subbing. I appreciate that. All right, now, if we go to... Ah, lighting. Here we go. Oh, what? It takes wool thread for a lantern? Oh, boy. Standing torch. 
or wool lantern. I guess we need to see the differences between these. One is made of linen and one is made of... One is made of wool. This one's much nicer. We're going to have to go out and buy some wool then. Because I don't have any of those. And they seem to be rather expensive too. There's also backpacks to make. So let's go over to the sewing station. And see what's new over there. Um. Ah, here we go. Backpacks and pouches. Linen fabric, fur, linen threads, sticks and leather. We can make a simple large backpack. Oh, there's new stuff to make. Simple backpacks, pouches. I wonder what that does. Does that extend your carry capacity? Hmm. I know it's a new item, but I don't know exactly how it works. Okay, well, we have wool fabric. I think we need to get uh, wool thread then. You guys remember what village has uh, lots of sheep and wool for sale? You guys remember? Oh, is it raining? Oh, pretty. Unfortunately, we don't have horses yet. I was hoping we would have those, but maybe soon. Sheepville has the sheep? I hope so. <laughs> Hi, what's up, Icy Leah? How you doing? I think the sheep are up in these two towns here. Actually, let's take a look at the map. I know they gave um, Sambor a house now, which is nice. Subscriber shout out. Okay, we'll go up that way. New subscriber shout out. Oh, wow. All these new subs joining. Awesome. Getting close to that big million. Thank you very much for all the support. Rolnica, maybe? Let's see. I don't remember. I, I can remember. I think it was Hornica has a weaver. I think Hornica and Denica have weavers, so they probably have the materials. And I think this village has linen, and this village has linen too. So we need linen, we need linen thread, and linen fabric, and then we need linen uh, wolf thread and wool fabric. But they may have changed things, so let's make sure. Maybe, perhaps, people are selling things that are different. Could be different. Rob S, thanks for becoming a raptor egg. Welcome aboard. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Who is selling stuff? Ida. It looks like it's still the same stuff. Branica has wool. Okay, we're probably going to have to drop by each of these towns because they don't sell a lot of it. And in order to make these lamp... We want to make these lanterns, so in order to do that, we got to go to a few places. Yeah, we could start our own sheep farm, but that's going to be a lot longer of a wait than actually just going and buying the little bit that we need. Alright, we'll go get linen and wool. I hope there's more uh, balancing to skills, too. I hope they... Man, I want that stamina to be higher. Since we don't have horses for now. Yeah, I'm excited for this update, too. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. We should really have some Pinto Bless for the fact that we have a, a new update. Oh, are there buffalo down here? I don't ever remember there being buffalo down in this section of the map. I don't think there was ever buffalo down here. I thought they were all... That rabbit's getting the hell out of here. Huh. Yeah, Rob, we're going over what's new right now. We're literally covering the update. We're literally playing it right now. So we will see what's new. I did cover at the very start of the stream some of the things that were new. So make sure you turn on the notification bell so you guys don't miss out on the starts of streams. And we're uh, going to go find some of the new things that are available, such as the events. And right now we're going to build some lanterns and such. So sit back and relax as we build all the new stuff there is and go explore a little bit. It should be fun. 
Penny Saver, thanks for becoming a Raptor Egg. Appreciate that. All right, so we're looking for linen and also wool. We want both of those. We might have uh, linen at uh, the place back at home. Hi, Norbert. Oh, damn, he only has wool. Wait, can be collected from sheep using sheep. Oh, can create wool thread. Okay, that's good. All right, now how much cash do we have? Four thousand, good. New member, Give me all of it. Subscriber shout out. I will take it all, sir. Thank you. Beautiful. All right, thanks, boys. All right, now does the next town have threads? Yeah, we can make two different types of lanterns. One seems to be made of glass, and the other seems to be one. One's like an official lantern, and one is a torch. So one's just basically like a big stick with fire on it, and another one's kind of like a a post. That has a little lantern on the end of it. Kind of cool. But I need to see if we can buy linen from this town. I don't think alcohol's in this update yet. There will probably be uh, another update soon. This is the events one. I thought they were supposed to add horses to this one, too. Let's see. How are our people doing? Oh, wow. They're really happy. Look at this. Everyone's pretty happy. That person's not, though. I wonder why. Well, so long as they're not leaving, it's okay. Horses mean jousting. Oh, that could be definitely something we could see in the future. That's cool. Oh, I don't want to see what's up here. Yeah, I just want the ability to make little carts and be able to go around the map and sell stuff. That seems like a lot of fun to take a whole year to, you know, make a bunch of clothes and then haul it into town. Yeah, they d they've definitely confirmed horses, but we just need to see when they'll include it. Shout out. Ah, good. Oh, this woman has wool fabric too. Oh, and wool thread. Oh, this is beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, let's buy all your fabric, ma'am. Then I want all of your linen thread. And we're out of cash, so I need to sell a bunch of iron arrows. Then I'll buy some more of your uh, wool fabric. And I'll sell the arrows again. Oh, I sold all that I had, darn. So we have wool, wool fabric, wool thread. I need linen thread. Let's see. I could sell an axe to her. <laughs> For two. Lol. Okay, I need more arrows to sell. Oh, actually, we have ten linen thread now. Ten linen thread, wool, wool fabric, wool thread. So we can make more wool thread from wool. And I think we have a ton of linen uh, or flax stock or whatever it takes to make that back at the base. I think we actually have tons of stuff for linen. So that'll be fine. Would it be faster to fast travel? Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's see. Ooh, new building unlocked. All right, we unlocked the upgraded barn. Hell yeah. Now we can make the better barn. Yeah, we have the mule skill. Oh, yeah, you definitely want the mule skill for sure. With the backpack and pouch, your limit goes up to 70 kilograms. Oh, really? Oh, really? Whoa, that's huge. Because in the base game, it's only 30. If you get the mule perk, it goes up to 40. Wow, that's amazing. All right, we got to make all the pouches and stuff. We're going to make that too. I think we'll make the, um, yeah, let's make the backpacks first. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah, I read the, a little bit about the update, but I didn't I didn't specifically see the number that it could go up to, so that's that's pretty awesome. Chat's got those big brains. Bum, 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 bum. All right, let's keep on trucking. Yeah, there's a new uh, I look it looked like you can make picnic tables and picnic benches, which is really nice. That's something that I wanted to see in the uh, previous versions of the game. This has kind of made me want to start over, but uh, you know I don't want to do that every time there's an update. But our town is beautiful. One's in chat if you've been here ever since the uh, previous episodes. Hey, what's up, Alex? Welcome, dude. Hope you're having a good day, my man. Thanks for a uh, big shout-out to Alex, too, by the way, for being way past his bedtime. I'm going to have to send you a uh, shipment of croissants. I'm going to personally send you a, like, a basket 
It's going to be full, like to the top. Like over the top with croissants. You're going to die of like croissant overload. Alright, let's see. So what do we have for fabrics here? Oh yeah, we got good linen. Th oh, this is beautiful, dude. We can make everything. Alright, so we got new backpacks we can make. Oh, they're locked though. So that just means we have to spend money to... Oh no, it takes money to unlock them. So that means I need to... Probably go and sell a bunch of arrows real quick. That's not a big deal though. Okay, let's go find a bunch of arrows and sell them. Did I put anything in here? Bum, bum. Yeah, there's there's an incredible... Speaking of building games, there's a destruction game that I was just playing before this uh, live stream called Teardown. So I'm going to record a video real quick and do a little preview on that after this stream. So this stream will be a little shorter just because we're going to see what's new. But that's alright, we'll still have plenty of time to look at what's new here. I'm excited. Have we not made iron arrows? I must have made a bunch and then sold them. What about hammers? Oh, we got plenty of hammers. That's perfect. Let's go sell those. I think we can hold up to like 20 of those? 22? 23. Nope, just 22. Alright, we're going to go sell those, and then we're going to, uh... Boom, boom. Now, there's just one or two buildings that need repair, but if we stop to repair them, we're not going to be able to make lanterns and stuff. You can only do one thing at a time in this game, really, because you can't hire somebody yet to do maintenance in your town. That'll be a good thing, though, for the future. That'd be an awesome update, is to assign somebody in the town to do all the maintenance, give them a hammer, and just say, you know, hey, keep, keep all the buildings in good shape, otherwise... It takes a little bit of time to do, because you got to run to a barn, grab the stuff, then put it all away. That's why we're working on pouches first, so we can carry more stuff. And then we're going to work on lanterns to see how they look. I heard lanterns in this game are pretty lit. Okay, let's sell a bunch of hammers. Thank you, ma'am. Alright, now how do we unlock the technology for this? Uh, let's see. It's probably under the Weaver. Uh, where's Weaver's building? Crafting. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Crafting. Sewing three, I bet. Yep, there it is. Wow. That's expensive, man. I don't think we have enough for that. Nope, we have 1,600. So simple large backpack is 2,000. I think we should make a pouch, too, though. Actually, if we make a pouch, that would allow me to bring more stuff here. So you can have a pouch and you can have a backpack too at the same time? Can you carry both? Because let's take a look at our inventory. It looks like there's two slots here. One's for a torch and then there's one here. I think that's for a pouch. Oh no, a pouch is... Oh, here! Yeah, okay, you can't see it. But yeah, there's a backpack and a pouch unlocked. That's cool. Rob, thanks for the two, dude. You are awesome. Okay, let's do that then. So let's unlock... The pouch, and then we'll be able to carry more stuff here. So we'll make one at a time. Good. Very good, chat. Very good. This is awesome. Okay, so let's go for... Oh, we can make crates and stuff. Oh, a wicker crate. Wicker decorative object that can be sold. Oh, I want to put stuff in it, too. It should be able to be used. Ah, we can make wooden wheels, too. Decorative objects. Okay. Hopefully they allow that to be an item that's used in the future. Well, we can unlock the large pouch for now. So let's do that. We'll unlock the large pouch and the large backpack. We'll come back with a bunch more stuff after we craft a pouch. We'll see how much that increases our carry capacity. Yeah, it looks like there's two different sizes of backpacks, and I think there was three different sizes of pouches, which is kind of cool. It'd be really nice if you could actually make those backpacks and give them to your people, and they'd be more productive. Because they'd be able to carry more stuff, especially like the loggers and the farmers and stuff. Like if they were doing a harvest or something. Hey, thanks very much, Karma, for being here. Welcome back, everybody. If you were a longtime supporter of the uh, Medieval Dynasty streams, they're back for today. So we can take a look at the new update. I'm rushing to see exactly what's new here. Well, let's see. 
Yeah, that building's supposed to have a hole in it. That's for the kiln. Uh, we need to go to the sewing building. Yeah, the pouch and the uh, backpack are in two different inventory slots, so you can build both of them. So here's the large pouch, so we can make a small, medium, and large size, and then a small, medium, and large size backpack. That's cool. Alright, we need 12 leather, 2 iron, and 4 linen fabric. So, do we have leather in here? Oh, we only have 3. Alright, we'll probably have to go to the hunting cabin. I still want a game to be based in Asia. I really want there to be a uh, feudal Japan update. Okay, oh wait. I forgot we have a storage barn up here. Okay, so we want leather. 14, we're probably going to need a lot more of that. Damn. What happened to all, all of our leather? I must have made it into something and then sold it. Oh, we needed iron too. Did I keep any in here? Nope. So we'll need a little bit more of that too. And then we could take all those hammers and sell those. Well, uh, I should be making more iron arrows, but I think we stopped making those because there was a glitch a little while ago where the arrows weren't being made correctly. Now it's fixed, but I still haven't reset them to make something else. I was too uh, afraid of losing all that iron. Speaking of iron, where is it? There it is. We'll carry a little bit on us. Okay, good. Bum, bum, bum. Build the Dino Diner, yeah. We built a little tavern across the lake, and it looks beautiful. Yeah, I can't remember everything we needed. It was, uh... Iron, linen fabric. Oh, linen fabric is what it is, not linen. Cool, now we can make a backpack. Or, I mean, a pouch. Let's do it. Alright, one of the first items. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Bum, bum. Yeah, I'd, I'd love for there to be, like, just an Asian version of this game. Like, all the same engine, like, everything the same, and just, like, make a new map and make, like, new characters and new, you know, stuff to make. You know what would be really cool is if you could make a monument in this game. I'd like to go make a big old statue of Buddha. Alright, so now we just need to equip the backpack. Or a large pouch, I mean. Uh, a pouch which, when equipped, increases capacity. It can be crafted in sewing. So it increases the weight by... We're at 40. It increases it by... How do I equip an item? Oh, F. Yeah. Oh, there it is on the right side. Wow, it increases it by 10. Beautiful. Absolutely amazing. I love that. I, I miss this game. <laughs> Alright, now let's see what we can make next. So now we can make the new backpack. So that's uh, five sticks, two fur. Okay, we got a bunch of that. We better go get some sticks. Oh, dude, we're, we're basically a giant, like, delivery truck now. That is awesome. Yeah, I want to mix this with Simutail. I like that game a lot. And okay, we need sticks now. Boy, I hope we have sticks, guys. I hope we can find enough sticks. Geez, only 900? Oh, wow, we're getting kind of low on the sticks. This is going to be amazing. Now we're going to craft the backpack. This is going to be amazing. Oh, we got to unlock that, though. Okay, so now we need to go sell items. So now that we got all the materials on us, we'll do a quick run and get the cash that we need. Oh, I'm excited to see this. Yeah, a few of our buildings need a little bit of love. I think we, last time we played, we were working on a big building, so we were kind of like not repairing stuff like we should have been. But it's fine, because at a certain point, you get bored of all the repairing in this game, and you got to do something else. I'm sure in the future, they'll make it so that way someone else can take care of that for you. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of cash. We need a thousand. What would be a good selling item? 
Hmm. Well, we could sell a couple of the recurve bows since we're kind of done with the quests. We'll uh, keep a couple of those. More iron hammers. I guess we'll just kind of walk slow. That's fine. We don't need to be in a rush. Also, torches sell for a good amount, don't they? Now we need every every penny we can get. So I think I will put put the sticks back. We'll just leave all the thread and all the other stuff we need here then. And the iron. Or two. And I think that is it for our items. This probably isn't going to be enough. There's light snowfall in the winter now too. That's good. Very good. Yeah, we could we could make arrows. Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea actually. Good idea. What do we need for uh, arrows? Is it just sticks and iron? Is that it? Did they change the recipe? Yeah, let's go ahead and leave the hammers alone. That's not going to be enough. The carry capacity is nice because usually in this game, you're always carrying certain items on you anyway. So to have a little bit more is a good idea. In other words, you're usually carrying like a little bit of food. You're always carrying like an axe and a pickaxe or whatever just in case you're, you encounter something or a spear. So it's always a good idea to have a little extra on you. Okay, let's go. New subscriber shout out. Hey, thank you very much, Hav, for subscribing. Appreciate that. Yeah, seeds are a good sale price. Also, um, arrows are a really good thing to sell, too. Oh, damn it. They updated it, so now you have to have feathers. Let's see. Yeah, crossbow's a good thing to make, but I want to be quick. I want to, like, get this done ASAP. So we're going to grab feathers, too. Oh, wow, these feathers have made us overweight. All right. So now let's turn these into arrows. We can make a stack of two, so that's one hundo. That's not great. Yeah, eventually this game will have bandits, so you'll be able to use the weapons against AI. It is an early access game, but they've confirmed that there'll be like a ta Like, you can build walls in this game around your town, so clearly there'll be some sort of way to be attacked and defend yourself in the future. Okay, what does this take for materials? Oh, it's 10 iron per. Okay. Kev, thanks for becoming a raptor egg. Welcome aboard. Thank you for your support. Oh, we've got, oh, we got plenty of sticks here. So I'll just go and run, grab some more iron. Beautiful. Welcome aboard. Okay, let's grab some more iron. How much can we carry? It looks like we have the ability to carry at least 40. I'll have to walk, but that'll be all right. Sell donkeys. Yeah, I don't know. Once you get animals, I don't I don't think you can sell animals back to people that are fully grown. I think you can only sell um like byproducts of the animal like meat. Uh oh. Maybe not so many sticks. And then we want a bunch of feathers. That's too many. <laughs> uh, let's see. Put half back in the box. 
Yeah, horses soon. Horses are confirmed, but not, not yet. But soon. Soon. Yeah, we built the entire village ourselves. We actually have both sides of the ri There's like two rivers. We have like two sides of, of the river. Okay, what else do we need? I want to make more arrows. I think we need more. More. We need more. With more sticks. Oh, wait. Are we short on feathers? Is that what it is? Oh, yeah, damn. Although, I think for, for hunting, I think we get feathers. So, we should be okay on that. Alright, so not easy to make money anymore from the arrows since you need sticks to do that. Uh, I mean, feathers. Lots of feathers. Bum, 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 bum. Alcohol will be coming soon to the game, so you'll be able to actually make that and sell that back to people in the town. Okay, I'm going to grab those hammers, too. Oh, yeah, tree harvesting. But when you when you put workers onto logging, does that give you... Does telling your workers to log... does You can do it manually and get feathers, but does is logging the way to generate it through the management, like the AI, or is it hunting? Because I think through hunting is how they generate that. In fact, I think that's why we have a low amount of arrows. Or feathers, because we don't have anybody hunting. Yeah, we have nobody hunting, that's why. So that's why we have low leather and low food. You get feathers from geese and chicken sheds? That's true, we do have, we do have a chicken coop that we have attended. I'm thinking that the hunting shack makes it too, but feathers are pretty easy to get. They just take a very long time to collect enough of them in order to make the arrows. Because you can only do things in stacks of 50, which is kind of annoying. It'd be nice if you could do them in stacks of 10. Alright, lady, time for me to clear house. Okay, we sold everything we could to her. Well, let's see who else will buy stuff. Oh, this lady only has 800 bucks. Oof. Isn't it 1,000? I thought it used to be 2,000, didn't it? The amount of money people would have on them. Okay, Lambert has 1,200. Well, we got 2,700. We might need to unlock the lantern recipe too, don't we? Is that locked? Oh, damn. Alright, we need to pay for that one too. Okay, let's get the backpack unlocked. So, under... Sewing 3. Large backpack for 2,000. And smithy... Hmm... I feel like it'd be probably be under this tab. Maybe under construction. Ah, oh, there it is. Standing torch under excavation shed for eight hundred. Oh man, that means like the 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 big boy torch is probably. Oh, lantern is two thousand as well. Damn. All right. Thanks, man, Bundan, for being here. All right, well, we'll run back and make that backpack now. I think the easiest way now is still to make money is then selling hammers. They're a lot more expensive. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, you want to have small fenced-in yards with lights? Yeah, you can definitely do that. Like, you can even make little tiny fences. 
I'm hoping that by the time the development is more complete on this game, that you can make towns that look like the uh, ones that you can visit, like the NPC towns. And that will look amazing. Alright, so we need to gather all that items again. Yeah, hammers are a pretty good thing to sell. They're a lot heavier. Arrows, that's why arrows are so beneficial. But unfortunately, you can only uh, make so many with the feathers. And I need to get more. That's one thing I just need more of is feathers. Okay, we don't need sticks. Well, yeah, I do. Sticks, leather. Fabric, thread. Lick step, okay. Is that really all we have in here? Fur. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Bom, 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 bom. I think I need a little bit of iron from here, too. Good. Blended fabric, good. Red, good. Alright, we we're good on everything. Except we need more leather. We had a little bit of everything. New subscriber shout out. Where'd all the leather go that we had? What else are we short on? Just leather. We need more leather. Hmm. I put them back in the uh, resource barn. Did they add more days to the seasons now? Still looks like it might be three. Is it four now? What happened to all of our leather? Didn't we have like 13? Oh, that was f that was that. Hmm. I must have made something out of it. There might be some in this, uh... Oh no, I remade the hunting cabin. Well, I need to eat soon. Let's do that. Yeah, that's some crispy stew, isn't it? That's for sure. Yeah, I know we had more leather. I just can't remember where I uh, put it before. Oh, there's a bunch of our iron arrows. I knew we had more. Probably could keep a bunch of that. Okay, well, that takes care of the money problem. Okay, we'll just keep like 10 in each. Okay, well that that solves that problem. That's good. And I think my problem now is that I don't have anybody assigned to hunting, so we're going to need to get more leather that way. Or I can buy some. Uh who sells leather in the town? Can you buy it from the uh the guy with the cow? Uh, I think the sewing station, I grabbed the rest of the leather there. I think we had like four or five leather. Yeah, we have five leather. Uh, I guess the only person I could probably buy leather from is the hunter across the river. Otherwise, I'd have to uh, get somebody to do it myself. I think what we did is... Uh, at the end of our last episode, we used all that leather to make a bunch of uh, 
torches and or uh, small backpacks. Is this the guy? Okay, well, he doesn't have leather. He does have money. Well, that's good. That brings our cash back up to 1500 Hmm. New subscriber shout out. Thanks, guys, for subbing. Yeah, money's fine. The good thing about uh, money in this game is it replenishes each season, so every time you go to a village in a new season, they'll have new cash. So if you sell stuff on the last day, you're good to go on the first day of the new month to get more cash. Well, we might have to go kill something. I just don't know how much leather we'll get from it. Well, let's assign people in the management tab then for now. Hmm. New subscriber shout out. Oh, that's right. A lot of our workforce has changed to um mothers, that's why. Okay, well let's get somebody off of uh We'll just get the two ladies off here for now. And we'll just make them temporary hunters. Alright, that'll generate some leather. I wonder if I put leather in any of these other buildings just to store it temporarily. Oh good, we got some things rotting, so that way we can make fertilizer the next year. Okay. Oh, that's right, their inventories are linked. Subscriber shout out. Bum, 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 bum. Justin, thanks for subbing. Appreciate that. Alright, so we should be able to make one of these uh, torches as soon as we get more cash. So my other goal would be to go across the river and sell stuff. Yeah, I think we made a bunch of torches to try to get cash. So I think what we want to do is head across the river and sell stuff tomorrow so we can unlock the remaining um, blueprints. Yeah, I don't think we have any leather stored in here. And I don't think I put it in the other box, did I? Just feather. No leather. Okay. So now we will go sell stuff so we can get the remaining uh, things unlocked and we'll start making torches. We should be able to go to sleep. Okay. Nappy time. Okay, so now we need to go and sell. How many people are across the river to buy? Oh, it doesn't say. Yeah, so once we sell our stuff, we should have enough cash to buy the remaining uh, lanterns, and then we should be good. Mom, mom. You always love the vids? Well, I like making them. Thanks for watching.
I have a sneaking suspicion maybe the barns might have them inside. Looks like the barn's inventory isn't linked, though. Okay, which way is the town? Oh, man. Once we got a horse, it'll be so easy to make money in this game. You can make tons of items and then just quickly run out and sell them and come back. And if you have the backpacks and stuff, you'll be good to go. Yeah, Rocky, we'll be to that one million soon. Everybody watching right now, click that subscribe button. We'll be rocketing towards that million shortly. So thank you for the continuous non-stop support. Thanks for always smashing the like button. Thanks for all the big O super chats. And thanks for becoming members to support the channel. Appreciate that. Christopher, thanks for subbing. All right. Anything here to sell? We may have sold stuff to this dude. I just got fourteen hundred bucks. Nice. Okay. Well, now we got the three thousand. So we can unlock torches. I kind of want the lantern, not the torch. It looks fancier. New subscriber shout out. Let's get the lantern at least. That takes wool thread, sticks, leather, and logs. So we're going to need a lot of leather. Which is okay, because now we have people hunting. So that'll just take a moment. Oh, we can buy feathers from this lady. Actually, a good idea. We can then sell more arrows back in. Mm. I certainly want the feathers. Wait, how much was the... Uh... Okay, we have 700. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, horses will uh, definitely make this game a lot easier to play. You won't have to wander around for a million years. All right, let's go check on the hunter's building. I guess I can care. Wait, wait, wait. Drop feathers off here. And we have enough to make another batch of arrows. Ah, dobbing now requires limestone. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, these ladies must be putting all the meat in the barns then. So we might have more leather. New subscriber shout out. No leather at all? Wait, leather doesn't get stored in the meat building, does it? Wait, this is the hunter building. Let's check this then. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, I don't see any leather. That's unfortunate. All right, we'll have to assign more people then to be hunters. We'll get some of the miners assigned to it. We'll shut down one of our mines for now since we need leather. Especially for the torches too, so we, we have a lot of need for the torches. Or for leather for torches. Bum, bum, bum. 
Um, let's see. So we got that going. Okay. Oh, we need to get rid of the miners. Which one, though? Ah, oh, this will be fine. Hunting Lodge 2 will assign Aldemir as a hunter and Mulberga as a hunter. Alright, good. Now we have four times the amount of income on leather. Hopefully it's soon. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so now in order to make this we need a total of 12 leather, so we have 5. And then in order to make the lanterns... Well, wait, we can just check it this way. So the regular lantern costs 2 logs, 4 leather, 8 sticks, and 4 wool thread. The standing torch takes 1 stick, 1 linen fabric, 3 stone, and three and 1 linen thread. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. We just need that leather, baby. We only have five. Yeah, unfortunately, I used all... We had, like, probably 200 and something leather, but I used it all to make uh, torches at the end because I needed to sell them for money in our previous episodes. There wasn't so much of a need for uh, that stuff at the time. Wait. I'm your teacher for this game? Well, there certainly is a lot to learn in the game. Um, some of these buildings blend together. I don't see any meat or any leather coming in. Ah, damn, am I going to have to go out and kill something? I guess what we'll have to do is we'll just probably go to, um... Yeah, I guess we'll just go to the to the hills up there and see how much leather we can get. Alright, we'll go hunting ourselves. Do they let you adjust rates now on hunting and stuff? Oh, it seems like leather production is paused. How do you... How do you make it so leather's not paused? Wait, do they have to be a gatherer to get that? Oh, you have to use the... Oh, you gotta go like 50-50? Oh, is that new? I don't remember ever having to do that. Here, let's focus on 10% meat and 90% leather. Hmm, I've never fiddled with that before. Did they did they update that after I stopped playing? I don't, I don't remember that at all. Well, that's cool then. Finally working. That's good. You know what's funny is you get so used to doing things like the the workaround way that when they make it work like it's supposed to, you get all confused. You're like, huh, what? You can do this now? No bolts. What do you mean? I grabbed. Did I not grab bolts? That'll be important. You need to drop the meat percentage. That's new. Okay. The hell? Ten iron bolts. Oh, wait, you have to equip it, don't you? Oh, there we go. There we go. Sorry, it's been a few weeks since I played. Bum, 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 bum. You gotta select your ammo type, because in this game you can have, like, stick arrows or iron arrows. Alright, so we gotta kill everything that moves. 
We gotta get that leather, baby. We used all of it on our torches, so now we need more. More leather is needed. I know there's boars up here somewhere. Oh, wait, do I have a knife? No, we're not gonna be able to do that without a knife. Yeah, standing torches are awesome. Yeah, I think they're pretty cool. I don't, I don't know which one creates more of a light source. Well, Dan is clearly happy. That's good. Ah, villagers now take stuff to put in their houses. That's good. Okay, we need a stone knife at least. Man, all this time and the kid is still not grown up. We'll probably do like a quick kill and then see how much leather we have, how much the hunters actually gather. Kind of weird that you can tell the people to like gather 50% meat and 50% leather. You, you'd think like if they're hunting, that'd be a set amount. Like if you kill a deer, no matter what, you can skin it and get its meat. Like deer have both no matter what. So it's like it makes sense for the gatherer. Like if you wanted to gather. 100% berries and no mushrooms, that makes sense. But if you're hunting, it's, it's like, automatically 50-50, kind of. If you kill a deer, you get the leather, no matter what. And the meat. Not like you kill a deer and it's like, oh, this deer has no meat, aw. You get some. Ah, uh, we just need to repair some of our buildings. They're a little neglected. The last time we were playing, we were trying to get to barn level 2, and we just unlocked it in this episode, so... That's good, so now we can upgrade our barn when we have the time. Oh, come on, man. Where's the, uh... No boar, no bear, no buffalo... Also, events happen now. I don't I don't know anything about how events work in this game. But I've seen it's a new thing. That has, like, big rewards or big setback. Well, the only thing I know is there's buffalo up here, but I don't want to go, like, 700 miles away from home. Oh, right, now we can finally tell the miners then to ignore getting stone and go for iron only. That's good. I'll have to reset that stuff in next time. Right now we're on the hunt. Yeah, there's like buffalo in this game. They have a different name, I think. But it's basically buffalo. Oh, how do we use that vision? Uh, no hunting dog yet, but... Maybe in the future. I know there's wolves around here. I don't want to get caught. What the hell? There's not... I haven't seen a single... I've seen a few rabbits. Oh, there's a deer. That's just one, though. I guess we'll hunt deer. All I remember is this thing I think shoots a little bit to the right. We want to shoot a little to the left.
frickin' first try. Okay, well that's two for us. We'll collect this Homer Simpson and then we'll go get the uh, buck. Ah, uh, three leather. We need a lot more than that. Wow, you get a lot more meat, I think. I don't remember getting this much meat. All right, leather's at 11. We need more. Don't see any others, though. Ah, there we go. We got a high speed chase. No leather from that, only fur. Well, that was easy. Yeah, we're kind of at our building limit now in this game, so that's why I haven't been building in a while. You're carrying too much. Uh... I, yeah, I shouldn't have went out with all this stuff. Oh, we have iron. Eh, that's alright, we got tons of that. We got tons of that. I forgot, what's the button to see all the... What's the hunter mode button? Do you guys remember? Alt, thank you. Right, we can pick that iron up later. Not so important since we have two functional mines. Okay, what do we have for leather now? We're at 14. I think that's what we needed. So let's head back and we'll make the backpack. Wait. Sir, I need to ask you a question. Damn straight. Cool. Alright, well that was worth it. Let's go home. Alright, so now we can build the backpack, which is new. And then we can build the leather torches, which is new. Hopefully with all the leather we're getting from hunting... That should increase that number. Good. New subscriber shout out. Jasmine, thanks for stepping. Yeah, the uh, horses aren't here, but we do have new items to uh, carry stuff around, so we're going to make a backpack right now. We're going to make a few other things, too. We just need more leather. Well, that's a good thing that we've uh, corrected the leather problem. 
Oh, bandits can walk through water? Hmm. Well, there's no bandits in the game yet, so I don't know how bandits will work. Yeah, we can we can make benches and stuff too now. Oh, that's another thing is that you're you're gonna want a lot of money in this game, because you're gonna need to unlock a lot of that stuff. So you're gonna need a lot of cash to unlock all the stuff that there is to build. All right, let's put all of our stuff back. We got 17 here. I think we have the rest of the stuff in the other box. How much limestone do we have? 24? Oh, that's barely enough. Actually, I don't know how much we need. Now we'll go drop some off. We might end up making more backpacks. Maybe we could sell them in the future. Oh, that's good to hear, Warhawk. Thank you. Do we have sticks in here? Yeah, okay. Wow, we got a lot of fur. That's great. All right, now we can make the simple large backpack. Good. That allows us to carry much more stuff. So now we can get up to, uh, let's see, your your base character limit is 30 kilograms. If you get the mule upgrade, you get 40 kilograms. If you make this large pouch, it goes up to 50. And if you make the simple large backpack, I think it goes up to 70. Holy crap. Carrying 70 kilos of stuff is going to be a lot. That's a lot of money. You get 20 to 30 feathers from the bird trap every time? Are you sure? I thought it used to be like two or three. 20 to 30 finally sounds like a good idea. Well, that's a good idea to have a bird trap again then. Oh, they changed rocks to be called stone now? Good. Yeah, it was kind of like a discrepancy. Like, having everything n named the same is a good idea. All right, now we can carry up to... Boom, 70 kilograms. Beautiful, beautiful. We got a pimped out character. That's awesome. Okay, so that's done. Now let's go make ourselves a simple tor or a lantern. So that requires... Uh, let's see, two logs, four leather, eight sticks, and four wool thread. So we're just going to need to carry a lot of logs on us now. Yeah, you can make all sorts of weapons. You can make uh, bow and arrow, crossbow, different types of arrows. And technically, like, axes and such can be used as weapons, too. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's go make our first lighting system in Raptoria. Where is our logs? Doo -doo -doo -doo. Now I kind of regret using all that. Oh, look at that. 73 leather. Holy crap. Beautiful. Well, let's take some of that with us. And we need to drop a bunch of stuff. Let's drop the fur. We'll drop off the meat at the uh, other building. Actually, if hunters collect feathers, then do you have to tell them to gather that? Probably, right? Not important for now, but... Ah, yes you do. Okay. We only need a little bit of meat. How much meat are we getting? Oh, we have tons of meat. That's awesome. So then we just want a little bit of leather. Well, a lot more leather, but a little bit more feathers. So now, pretty much from here on out, we should be able to just create, you know, after a couple of months or a couple of seasons, we should be able to make so many, so many 
arrows that we can then just sell them to anybody. So now the problem is not going to be what do we sell and how do we make it. The problem is going to be who do we find to buy it. Because finding people to actually buy our stuff means we're going to need a horse to go quickly. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I built it the wrong way. Wait, is there a way to destroy stuff? So you don't actually have to... Oh. That's fine. So you don't need a hammer to build this? That's weird. It's kind of hard to see which way it's pointing. you got to kind of like look up a little bit. Let's see. How does this rotate? Is it on a grid? Oh no, it slowly rotates. Oh, that's kind of hard to see. Because like you, you can't rotate it unless it's on the ground. No wonder I goofed up. That's cool. Let's go light up the... Uh, we need more logs. Let's go light up the tavern. Reload and fix it. Eh, if I reload, it'll be at the start of the day. It's okay. It'll always be a, a, little, a, a little meme. Now we can also unlock the other standing torch, but I think I like these lanterns a little bit better. Do we have to light these or are they automatic? I don't have to like use a torch to light those, do I? Oh yeah, let's put one down by the bridge. Well, that's cool. They come on at dark? Thank you. Thank you for telling me. Son of a... I thought I had that face in the right way. Oh, we can get rid of him with the hammer? Okay. That's fine. Well, luckily we have tons of materials coming in, so it doesn't matter too much. Well, that's cool. Now I want to see how much money do we have for the other one. Uh, we'll need a lot more arrows to... Yeah, we're going to need to sell a bunch of arrows to get that. Luckily, feathers are coming in now. Leather is good. Get some more logs. Wait, we want to do, like, what? Ten logs? So if you get into this game now, all the work that we put in before was long and arduous because there wasn't as many, like, updates to the game. So now that there's been more updates, it'll it'll make it a lot easier, I think. Because if you, if you get a backpack early in this game, you'll be able to... Like, that's what was killing us before was having to, like, walk an hour one direction and walk an hour back because we had, like, limited carrying capacity. So now you can carry 70 rather than 40. That's amazing. Yay. Okay, that should be pretty easy to build. Alright. So now let's correct those so chat doesn't have a heart attack. Alright, so we want it facing this way. kind of hard to see like you got to stand back quite a bit before you place it oh -ho -ho. beautiful Unfortunately, I can't build a building here unless they've changed the uh, construction system. So we'll just put another lantern here.
Nice. There we go. Now we got the hang of it. Okay. Beautiful. Thanks again, guys, for all the support and clicking and tap and join, growing this beautiful town with me. You guys are amazing. Thank you very much for being so supportive and cheering me on. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, we got plenty of wool thread and stuff left. Oh, dude. Let there be light. All right, let's go grab more materials. This is awesome. Nighttime is the best part in this game. Okay, oh, we must put it in storage. So again, to build the lantern, we need log, leather, stick, wool. So we don't even need iron. Yeah, it's a good idea in this game to just sell a ton of stuff. Uh, in terms of, like, making more than what you need of arrows or something along those lines. Okay, do we have more wool thread? Okay, so we gotta go buy more of that. That's okay. Wait, can we take wool and turn it into wool thread? I think we can. New subscriber oh wait, can be crafted from wool. Oh. So we don't need the fabric, but wool can be turned into that, so we got plenty of that. New subscriber shout-out. If we're gonna unlock the standing torch, I'd like to unlock that and put that somewhere, but that's gonna take quite a bit of money and New subscriber I think we'd be better of going to a different place for that. Or um Going back to the local village when the season changes. Let's see. Yeah, there's lots of decorative items added. In fact, let's see what's new. So they've added the wooden bench, the simple wooden stool, the wooden table, and the wooden stool. So those have been added so you can make outdoor areas for your people. And we'll need to unlock those, though. They, the only problem is that we'll need a lot of money for that. And the only other problem with that is that everybody near us has been basically like, we've taken all their money by selling them stuff. So we'll need to wait till the next season until they're replenished. Otherwise, we got to go halfway across the map. And without a horse, that's pretty impossible. So it's a good idea. If you need money in this game, like sell on the last day of a season and then sell on the first day of a season. So that way you have like double the chance with half the trip. In fact, you could probably like sleep out at a campfire or something if you've wiped them out with money. Okay, um, so what did we need for the lantern again? Log, leather, oh, sticks we do need. And wool thread, which I gotta go make. So we should be able to make that. Yeah, we can, uh, we can start repairing our buildings in a little while. We're gonna hold off on that because, um, we're busy doing this now. All right, wool thread, we can make a total of five. So by misclicking those lanterns, we kind of move out. We lose out on a little bit, but that's okay. Because we can always buy more. So that's a good reason to get sheep now is for your lighting. One here by the bridge. That looks nice. And let's put one by the tavern. Uh, we need more wool thread. Oh, it takes four. Okay. That's a shame we don't get our materials back for that. I wish for decorative stuff that they would give you your materials back because it really doesn't... It doesn't provide any benefits. So that that's something I would give in feedback and be like... If I make something and I accidentally put it down, you know, just give it give, give give it back. Well, this looks great. That's awesome. Okay, let's see. So now we got to unlock some schemes for I want to build like a picnic table. Let's do that. Oh, skills. We have more skills. Oh, that's fine. Uh, let's see, technology. I'm assuming that's probably under woodshed. Yep, simple wooden stool for 250. Wooden table. Wooden bench for 1500. Geez. Oh, 
Let's buy a wooden table, I guess. Oh, so we can put tables down outside. That's nice. Although it'll look a little weird outside the tavern with all the grass there. Wow, so now we have light, ladies and gentlemen. That's a beautiful update. Only uh, hope, then, is that in the future you can get all your materials back from decorative items. But I could see that being kind of a cheat where, like, people could store their items outside by just putting down, like, 14 lanterns or something. Level 3 lantern? There's only two lanterns. The only other one is a standing lantern. I can put, put a little table over here, though. Make it look like we put laundry out. Or that we're drying our laundry or something. That looks nice. Yeah, it makes the village look a lot more alive, I agree. Okay, let's go to sleep. It looks like there's still three days in a season, I believe. Alright, uh, we need to grab a snack. This is awesome. I really like all the new stuff here. The decorative stuff is definitely nice. So we're going to have to go buy more wool and go sell more items next year. Let's get all that off of us. We could probably go to make feathers then. So actually, let's see how much iron... What do we have for feathers? 20. Okay, let's change the hunters to do nothing but feathers this time. Kind of cool. It's kind of a pain in the neck, though. It's like, if you need a material, you gotta go into here and, like, tell them to do something different. Like, do leather 10% of the time and go all... all into feather gathering. Okay. Uh, let's see... So we need sticks. I think we actually have sticks in that box, so I think we're okay. Oh, we need to grab a snack. Yeah, so now we can make the level two. The only thing... What are, what are some things I haven't unlocked yet? We haven't unlocked the... Tier three food storage hasn't been unlocked. And I think the tier three farm is the only thing that we have yet to still unlock. Yeah. Well, and then the fold and cow shed, but those are not too... High priority right now. Well, we could sell a bunch of food, but... Again, that's the biggest problem in this game, is that everybody else is sold out of stuff. And we certainly got a lot of uh, repairs to do. You get your feathers from chickens? Yeah, we have our... Uh, we have a chicken coop going. But I don't know if the chicken coop automatically puts feathers into storage, or if I need to go pick them up. Uh, chickens and geese both lay eggs and produce feathers, but I don't know if one produces more than the other. They must be, because nine isn't very much. What's up, Boost? The Boost. Chickens for eggs and geese for feathers? No, chickens produce both. But I think... Um, they'll probably have it set up to do something special in the future. So we should be able to produce... Damn, we almost have enough for two. Okay, we're going to wait. New subscriber shout out. Okay, we need five more feather. I could go cut down a tree. Let's go cut down a tree and see if we can get a feather from that.
Oh, there's some. You only get one? Okay, well. Now there's some. Was that five? Okay, do we have... Yep, we have 100, okay. No, I can cut down trees in two strokes because I have uh, perks up and an iron, iron axe and stuff. I've got it set for logging because pretty much everything in this game is made of wood, so... All right, we'll clean that mess up later. <laughs> Someone will clean that up, I'm sure. Yeah, we'll have to clean that up later. All right, let's see. Yeah, thanks again, guys, for subbing and becoming members and dropping the super chats. I, I appreciate that for those of you who have been doing that. Thank you very much for all the love and support. We're going to make arrows for tomorrow. We'll make 100 so we can sell and get more cash. And then we'll use that cash to buy more. We'll probably end up buying more... Um, probably more, like, tier 2 lanterns. I, I like the second level lanterns more, but we should build some standing torches, too. Maybe I could build those, like, on the outside of town or something, just to give it a different look. Maybe we'll build one over by that tavern or something. Alright, let's see. So now we've made a ton of arrows. That's great. That'll sell for quite a bit of money. Drop off the sticks and the iron here. Um... Bum, bum, bum. And we'll leave the fur there. Okay. Alright, so cash is sitting at 217. We have iron arrows to sell. I'll need to see what else we have to sell. I think we should have more hammers ready to go. We'll have to do repairs on this place, too. I guess in the winter we'll do our repairs. Winter is a good time to construct and build things and repair things because with the harvest season over, everyone can kind of go into construction. Well, you'll have to tell the miners to stop gathering so many stones. Oh, wow, they're set to 100% rock? Uh-oh. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Now we don't need stone ever again. We got plenty in storage, and we'll probably use the rest of it on building walls. Which is a good addition, too. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's a new wicker workshop, too. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that, that's a few items I'd forgotten about. In the uh, technology tab... What is it under, uh, what is that building called? The workshop? Yeah, medium wicker basket, large wicker basket, and then you can just sell these things. Ah, this YouTuber sucks. Mom, where's my hot pocket? So you can actually use these to make... Oh, this, this gives you a way to sell all your sticks. Or to use all your sticks. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, so then for 350 you can basically unlock a recipe to be able to sell all your stuff. Or all your your sticks. Of course, everyone around here is broke, so we'll have to wait. But 
That does give us a new item to sell to Gastovia and Barvo. And maybe Hornica, too. Might be a good idea, actually, to go and sell stuff to them before the end of the year. Let's see. Okay, let's unlock that. Oh, but in order to build that, do we have to be in that building, though? Do we have to be in the workshop to make that? I think we can make that anywhere. And we only have money for the medium wicker basket, so let's buy that. And then we'll get a bunch of sticks and see if we can go sell some stuff. Dude, that's cool. You'd think the weight would be the same, too. Like, if you made uh, 100 wicker baskets, that it would weigh the same as 100... Whatever the equal amount of sticks would be. New subscriber shout-out. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, the crossbow's good, so long as you're patient with it. I find it to be much easier to use anyway. I It's kind of just a ranged spear for me. Like, you can throw the spear in this game, but if you're good with the crossbow, it, it has a little extra range. And you can basically one-shot bears and buffalo. Pretty easy if you take a little time to learn how to shoot it. You saw earlier I got, like, 100% kills on all the animals. Uh, the, yeah, the iron spear's pretty good. It's got higher durability. Oh, we can make stuff here. Oh, yeah, there we go. So we got the wooden wheel. These are decorative, though. I don't know if we can sell these. So here's all the new stuff. Wicker, small, medium, and large wicker baskets. Crates, ladles, spoons, and bowls. Cups, plates, and wheels. And I think, yeah, it can be sold. So that's a great way to unlock stuff and get rid of all your extra materials. Like, sticks are always coming in, especially if you've got... Nice. Nice, chat. Nice. 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 All right, well, here we go. All decorative, though, unfortunately. Yeah, but this allows you to at least use all the extra logs and sticks that you have laying around for something other than fences. So... If you needed to cut down a bunch of trees because you wanted to build a house and you got a lot of extra sticks from it, you may as well turn it into money. So it's like it's like a bypass of money. Just got access to a, a demo for a game called Farmer's Life Extraordinary Farming Simulator from Playway. All right, well, we're waiting for this stuff to produce. Let's go watch a Steam trailer real quick. Farmer's Life. Let's go watch this. While we're waiting for that to do its thing, let's see what Farmer's Life is. Farmer's Life demo. Hold on. Apparently, I added this to my wish list. Let's see what this is all about. Oh, it's just modern medieval dynasty. Oh, horseshoe is cool. Wow. This looks like a mobile phone game. Now you're just biking home drunk? What the hell? Farmer's Life, yeah, so it's Medieval Dynasty except, uh... Martin Russia. Russia. 
All right, well, there's a free demo for this if you want to play it, I guess. Uh, I'll play that and put that on my channel later. Let's see. Take care. This looks like uh, a mobile phone version of um, My Summer Car, except Medieval Dynasty, except not really. Great. Oh, boy. All right, well, the good news is uh, tomorrow, in this game, tomorrow, we can go back and, like, sell the rest of our stuff to everybody. So I think what I'm going to do is finish the crafting here, then we'll go to uh, Hornica, sell all that we can, and then go back to Gustovia and the other town across the river to sell all the rest of our stuff. So we should have all the money we need to unlock all this stuff. This is good, though. Because now this gives oh you a reason... Oh my god, this YouTuber needs to go to jail. Cops are on the way, guys. Don't worry. This is a good way to burn through all your stuff. Like, if you don't have all the... If you don't have... Like, you know, all the money in the game, then you can spend a little bit of it to use all the materials that you probably have sitting around. So that way you can convert it into cash. So that's good. What do you guys think of, of the motherland? Was it absolutely glorious? Did you think? Did you think it looked glorious? Bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. All right, we're about halfway there. We play the waiting game now. Check the description down below for a schedule of live streams and upcoming videos. That's right. Yeah, that looks like a game that you could probably get the most out of it by just playing the demo for free. That's true. You enjoy the channel no matter the game? Well, that's a good attitude. I appreciate that. Thank you, Galen. Uh, villagers can do tasks, but you can do them way, 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 way faster. So if you need something done now, you better do it yourself. Except for things like uh, feathers, or hunting, or leather, that type of... Like, the, the, the quick tasks that are like, hunt, get meat, are much faster. The production tasks take a long time, though. Gathering raw materials is quick. Crafting is long. Boys, we're almost up to 400 likes. I bet you I'm going to finish making these medium wicker baskets before chat even gets anywhere close to it. New Good luck, chat. Good shower. luck. Uh, Vishnu, thank you very much for becoming a subscriber. Welcome aboard. Yeah, no possible way chat could get to 415 likes before we're done with this medium whisker back. It's not, not even close. Ch chat, you'll never be able to do it. Don't even try. 415 is impossible. There's no way. No way chat's going to get to 425 likes before we finish our medium whisker with the whisker basket. No way. No way chat's going to get to 435 likes. It's impossible. It's impossible that chat would even get to 435 likes. There's no way. There's no way that chat could even get anywhere close. Not even close to 450 likes. There's no way. There's no way chat's going to do it. Don't even try, chat. Don't even try. Uh, villagers cannot sell excess stuff? No. Not at the moment. It would be cool if they added a marketplace, though. Um, I, In fact, that's one thing I really want to see, because otherwise you're probably going to have to do it yourself. But there is a skill for uh, your villagers to have diplomacy. So I think that will mean that there'll be some sort of bargaining or buying in the future so you can have somebody like work at your market so maybe they'll be able to buy stuff for lower prices and sell for higher prices yeah like a yeah an envoy or a trade convoy yeah something coming to your town to trade with you would be cool otherwise you got to buy and sell everything yourself so that's a shame that's a shame like I Isaac Davis's attitude bum bum
450? No, I mean, there, there's no way that chat's going to get to 475 likes before we're done with the medium wit cricket bat. There's no way. There's no way chat could even get close. <laughs> what? Is this YouTuber asking for community participate? Outrage. Now you guys are the best. Thank you for the support. Yeah, I'm going to be playing a game called Teardown uh, later today, too. There's There's been so many things I've wanted to do. Uh, I wanted to do that. The Grounded has an update too. I'm going to push that to tomorrow. We got Gra Graveyard Keeper has an update, but this update came out, so I wanted to cover this first because this was uh, much like I covered this 20. This is our 28th live stream on this, by the way. If you were to watch, like next month, you could you could watch a live stream almost every single night for an entire month of this game. So if you wanted to see how we got up to this point, it's like 28 live streams times three hours each. So, there's a lot to watch if you're bored. If you build a storage shed near each town, would that make trading and selling easier? Yeah, that's true. Uh, but the game doesn't allow you to build too close. Where we are right now is about as close as you can build to a town. So, you still got to walk pretty far. So, horses are really needed. So, that way you can just... If you have a pouch, a backpack, the mule upgrade, and a horse, you'll be able to go back and forth. But the big problem about that is that even still... Uh, villagers will have limited cell capacity. So everybody in the town starts with like somewhere around 2,000 coins times like three traders. So you can only trade about 6,000 coin per season at most villages. Which sounds like a lot, but um, once you're, if you're unlocking and buying all the recipes, it's probably going to take about mm, maybe about 12,000 to unlock all the... No, even more, because some of the recipes are like 2,000. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Yeah, maybe that's about right. All right. Magnus, hey, thanks for becoming a raptor egg. Welcome aboard. All right, now. Um, should we make arrows? Or did we already do that? I forgot. I think we already did. Oh, yeah, we did. Okay, so let's go to Hornica. Uh, that's down there. What's the name of this game, you ask? Well, be sure to read the title in its entirety. That's right. Uh, horses are not in here yet, but they desperately need to add them. I don't know what's taking so long, though. Maybe they're trying to get the animations just right. Honestly, I'd be happy with if, if there were horses in the game and they kind of look dumb, and they said, hey, we'll fix them later so they don't look, you know, so they don't act as dumb or whatever, that, that's fine. But I think what they need to do, if they're going to have horses in the game, I think what they're probably working on is for a way for you to... You're probably going to have to buy a horse or do a quest or something to get a horse. So they're probably going to have to figure out a way where you to, where you can get the horse and figure out a price for it and feed it and possibly store it somewhere. Like you might need to put them in stables and feed them. But I hope they make the horse just kind of like a... You know, just leave it anywhere and you can equip grains and feed it. It's certainly like an end game item. Hello? I wish I could... Oh, well. We got leather. Yeah, horses were high value items. That's why I think they might... At the start of the game, it would be really cool to have a horse the whole time. So it would be kind of cool if there was some reason where it's like, Oh, your uncle left you this horse. Or whatever. Oh, more wolves. Well, now we got to run from Wolfies. Dakota Ward with the five. I'm playing this game right now. What's the best way to get a wife? Um, it took me a while. I wouldn't go straight for marriage, actually. I would I would build a village first. But uh, once you're ready to get married, go visit them during the summer and try to visit them twice a day, once in the morning and once at night. And quick load, quick save the game. So that way you can ask them about the weather. If you ask anybody about the weather, and if it's a nice day, it really improves their mood. So if you go talk to anybody in the villages and ask them about their day, they're going to be really happy. And then just keep keep reloading until you get that question. It's kind of cheesy, so they need, they need to fix that dialogue system. It's kind of... It's too RNG. Because it's like... You know, in real life, it's, it's not like random... It, you know, in real life, if you're at, if you ask somebody about their day, it's not really random. But if you were to like go mining, it might be random if you were to get an item. Are you wolves still chasing me? 
Really, dude? I'm gonna try to lose him in the mountains. Yeah, I'd also like in this game uh, to have a cart. Like, if you could, uh, if you could get a little cart to haul stuff in, and like you know, you you brought it by hand, that'd be fine. Even if it weren't a horse-drawn cart. All right, looks like he gave up. We had to lose that nerd and go the long way. Remember, <gasps> Dan's new legs. Thanks for becoming a Raptor member. Appreciate that. Hey, where are our members at? Members, you want to check in with the Golden One? How are you guys doing today? Thanks for supporting the channel. You guys are great. Ooh, this would be a nice wall to build. Oh, did they update this? Oh, this looks like they built a stone wall on... T oh, that looks gorgeous. Oh, man, if I could do a combination of this, that would be beautiful. I don't think you can do that, though. I don't think you can construct things on top of each other, but, man, I want a wall like that. All right, let's do some trading. Okay, we need to sell a bunch of medium wicker baskets, ma'am. Wait, what? The hell? She bought the arrows. How come? Oh, there we go. Wait, she won't buy them. You're not buying the baskets? What the hell? Yeah, I wouldn't want to make those walls just yet, though, because if you if you put walls around your city, it means you can't. Um... Yeah, this guy, this person has one thousand four hundred twenty-eight coin. If we sell all of these items, we'll make seven seventeen. Well, they must be bugged. All right, well, I guess you can't sell those. Anybody should sell your wares. No diggity, no dob. That's a good one. Oh, maybe this guy will buy stuff? You can't sell any of the new items right now? Oh, that sucks. Oh, yeah, it looks, it looks glitched because it's... Oh. Yeah, when you click on it, it doesn't actually say the item. It says coin. Wait a minute. It thinks this is my money now? Uh-oh, that's a big glitch. Uh oh. It thinks. Uh oh. The game thinks this is my money. Because it weighs nothing. Uh oh. That's a big oopsies. Alright, they'll have to update that. So maybe a good idea not to build any of the new items. Because there's new items you can put on the ground. Like the furniture and stuff. This is all decorative stuff. And then there's the new lanterns, which are great. You think I sold my coins? Um, well, no, because we still have the same money from the arrows. Which, that's about what they sell for. Huh, well, that's strange. Hop on the Discord with the link in the description to suggest some games. That's alright, we'll go home. Alright, so they probably need to do another hotfix just to fix up the uh, crafting items. So we'll just go put those in storage. Actually, hold on a second. If we... Oh, now the money's back again. Hmm, that's weird. Uh, John TZ Gamers, please don't copy-paste the uh, chat repeatedly with a all-caps message. Thank you. Okay, let's see. 
Uh, yeah, our Discord link's in the description. In fact, we do giveaways and stuff on our Discord all the time. I also have some stuff I'll be giving away on Twitter and Instagram soon, so if you haven't followed uh, me on Instagram and Twitter, it might be a good idea to make an account and follow me there. And come say hi. All right, pretty cool. So we've made... We've made all the new torches. The torches are ama YouTuber like the, the lanterns. The Fortnite stream. These lanterns are awesome. The fact that we can build tables is cool. I wish we could interact with the chairs, but unfortunately we can't do that. I don't think we can sit down. We now have a lot of new items to make out of uh, wicker, which is cool. We can sell those, but they seem to be glitched. They'll probably uh, they'll probably update that again today to to fix that. You should be able to sell that stuff, so that's no problem. And the fact that you can make those out of sticks is amazing. Oh, that also means that we can unlock that other recipe so we can make bigger ones, too. So let's make, um... Let's see. Oh, we can't do the standing torch. How do I use dino dollars? Check down below in the description. Let's see. Oh, it's under crafting, isn't it? Under workshop. Yep, there it is. Large wicker basket. Cool. And we can make ladles and spoons. That's pretty neat, too. Yep, you can put lanterns in your town now. That's why we've been covering this whole update. There's also pouches and backpacks, so you can carry up to 70 kilograms of stuff. If you make all the, uh, if you make a pouch and a backpack at the highest size, you can carry that stuff. All right, what do we want to do next? We need to wait till tomorrow to sell more of our stuff. We could probably craft some more stuff out of sticks. So let's do that. So we have... Oh, wow. All right, so now we're not getting enough sticks anymore. So now we need loggers to go get sticks. Man, before in this game you had too many sticks. Now we need more. That's a good problem to have. We can easily use those to make good items. Actually, I'll put all that stuff back in storage. That's fine. Same with the wicker baskets until they're fixed. That's really cool that we can make decorative items now. Like, that's a great way to make money. Instead of having to use hammers all the time, you can take advantage of all the extra logs that you have, extra sticks, extra fur, leather. That's really cool. We got some extra sticks here. I guess I'll bring these back. No, I'll leave these here for crafting in the future. But I'll leave like 50. Yep, that'll be fine. Good. Alright. Hey, do you guys like uh, post-apocalyptic survival games? Do you, Are you guys interested in uh, like city builder games with combat and stuff? Is that something that interests you all? Okay, we need to take a little bath. And we'll call it a day. We'll take a nap. You like city builders with or without combat? Okay. What do you guys think about zombies? What do you think about like a, a city builder where you have to defend against zombies? And also raiders and all sorts of other stuff. Do you think that's cool? You do? Okay. Well, I have something I would like to show you. I have a new video out on a game I would like to show you guys uh, that came out earlier this year. It's kind of new. came out earlier in the year, uh, in March, so I'd like to show you all this one. YouTube is uh, suppressing it somehow, for whatever reason, so I'd like to give you guys a look at this game here, The Last Haven. So I would like to show you all this game. 
and I would love you to go watch this one. We're going to wrap up uh, this game for now. You guys are amazing, so thank you very much for the support. We'll come back to Medieval Dynasty when there's more updates. Looks like this one needs to be patched, so that way we can sell more things. But in the meantime, go watch The Last Haven, a post-apocalyptic survival stronghold builder in zombie wastelands that you can get today on Steam. So click or tap that link in chat. Make sure you smash the like button on the way out. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, turn on the notification bell. You guys are awesome. The Last Haven is a pretty good game. I like it. So check that video out if you wouldn't mind. And go spam the word zombie on that new video. It's pretty cool. So you guys are amazing. Thanks for all the support. I'll spam the link again there. Click or tap that in the uh, chat. And check out that video. And I'll go heart your comments too. That's it for today's stream on Medieval Dynasty. i got to get out of here and go record some more stuff for you guys for later today. I'll be back later with a game called Teardown. We'll go play through that some more too. And I'll make a video on it today. And then we'll be back with uh, Graveyard Keeper tomorrow and also Grounded tomorrow too. Taking a look at the underwater update, a preview with Sir Simula. That should be pretty cool. Medieval Dynasty is updated and is available now. It's a really good game. I really enjoy it, and we'll be back to uh, play that some more, too. You guys are awesome. I'll see you all next time. Again, click or tap that link, and go follow The Last Haven. It's a really good game. You guys are going to like it, so don't miss out. Don't forget to click or tap that link, and we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody. Have a good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Shout out.